Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another form review video where we're going to be taking a look at some of Cole here's heavy deadlifts. Um, he sent in a few back down sets as well as his top set. I believe the top set was at 535 and these back downs were at 495. So we'll take a look and see what we can see. All right, so right off the bat these are doubles and we'll notice that they're fairly low rpe for him so nothing too difficult i did take two of these sets this one and the next one and we're gonna watch it in real speed and then slow it down and point out the main thing that i see um kind of with cole's deadlift here So watching it in real time, the first thing you'll notice, it looks like it, you're struggling to hold on to it at the top or almost like you're trying to get your hips through, but you can't quite. And where I think that stems from is watch your low back here, right when you lock in right here. Okay. You locked your upper back really well, but your low back is still rounded from about your belt line down to your hips right and because you're still rounded there whenever you pick it up and you try and get your hips through you have to unround your lower back and that increases the range of motion that you have to do so watch right here you're kind of bound up and you have to unwind your low back because you didn't straighten it all the way whenever you sat in now this set i noticed this a whole lot and then whenever you watch this set so really pay attention to your low back whenever you get into position you do a better job at setting it straight and because your low back straighter from the beginning of the lift it makes the end of the lift way easier for you notice your hips came through way easier there and to an extent here right so let's watch that in slow motion and really hone in so like i said you do a great job locking in or straightening your upper back but you still have some low back rounding usually or at least in the last set but let's watch what you do on this one in slow motion so we'll give you a second i should have clipped this this first slow motion part out um so you're about to grab the bar here and right as you lock your upper back watch this set you also straighten your lower back better so right about here oh <laughs> right there okay you brought your shoulders up your low back was in much better alignment and because of that watch how easily your hips come through right you don't have nearly the problems you do at lockout as the last set so let's watch it again i think the second rep you don't straighten your lower back as much right but it's still pretty neutral and because of that it lets you push your hips through and you don't have as many struggles okay so that's what i want you to really take away from this is be deliberate with your back positioning because it may seem like you're weak at the top but i think that's because of of a positioning thing at the bottom of the lift so let's just watch this heavy set okay you're gonna lock in your upper back but you keep that low back a little bit more round this time especially on the second rep and you can see a little bit of a struggle at the top okay so otherwise very strong deadlifting cole okay these look great really work on that low back positioning and i think that can really propel you forward into your next um range of progress all right so i hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did please give it a like and subscribe and send me your videos if you'd like me to take a look at your lifts and until next time happy lifting